All right, all right. Hello, guys. So about two weeks ago, I did this video called uh, Real Life Military Loadouts in Phantom Forces, and the video seemed to do really well, so I want to make a part two, and I'm, I'm stepping it up a notch, okay? I recruited my good man, Sam I Am, to help me with the loadouts, so basically in this video, instead of four different loadouts, we have 14 different loadouts representing 14 different countries. And yeah, the setups are supposed to be as accurate as we could get them, so if they're a little bit inaccurate, sorry about that, but we did the best we could. But anyways, yeah, so representing the United United States. We have the M4A1 with an ACOG, a green laser, a flashlight, and armor piercing. And the armor piercing is supposed to represent this uh, ammo type called the M855, I think it's called, that the military uses. So yeah, I mean, that that's interesting. And there we go. We got three hit markers. This obviously has not very good recoil, I guess, especially with the ACOG that zooms in like 10 times. We're going to we're gonna make it work though. All right, good start. We got one kill. That's a teammate. Hello. So yeah, I'm going to limit myself to about two or three lives per gun. Just so just so we're not dragging the video out too long. Because like I said, we have 14 different countries to go over. What? Okay, this clearly doesn't do any damage. Bro, what are they, what are they doing in our spawn? <laughs> okay, more importantly, how little is the damage from this gun? This is like insanely low. All right, finally, we got another kill. Yeah, okay. It looks like they're in our spawn. The M107. All right. That's how you want to play it. Okay. All right. We got him. We got him. We got our revenge. Man, I'm not feeling I'm not feeling the ACOG on this. At least we have attachments though. Dude, last video we didn't even have attachments. There's a guy up here. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess I found their team. They are on this roof. And we have got Oh no, I ran out of ammo. Alright, fair enough. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hop guns now. So next we have representing Canada. A C7A2 with a C79 and a folding grip. This is the best we could find in terms of attachments, so hopefully we're somewhat accurate. All right, almost got one. Okay, <laughs> just trashed on me with a BFG. Quitting life now. All right, no, for real though. I should I should have the hockey stick instead of instead of this knife. That should be my melee, the hockey stick. Okay, we got some enemies down here, I guess. Whoa, 29 damage? You kidding? I shot him like a hundred times. <laughs> Bruh. All right, we we're we're just gonna go this one more life, and then I hate this sight by the way. All right, but yeah, one more life with this which is this life we're, we're at right now. And then I'll switch guns. What? Dude, you gotta be kidding. All right. Next gun we have representing Austria with the Steyr Aug, I think it's called, with the Z point. I don't know if I pronounced that right, so just let me know if I did. I, I think I did. All right, but yeah, we got the Aug A1. This thing is so accurate, but like, it's just really weird at the same time. I don't really know how to describe it. It, it like, it like seems like it's gonna go somewhere, like the recoil, and then it just doesn't. Oh, that guy kind of just spawned right in front of me. So yeah, my question, guys, my question is, how are you enjoying the new update? I've heard a lot of good things about the update, which is always good to hear with Phantom Forces. We don't get a lot of good reviews with these updates anymore. There's another guy. What happened to their team? They have more people than us, but I feel like they're way less active. And I just been sniped again. This map really ain't it. I'm not gonna lie. This map is not it. Can't find anyone. I think it looks nice, but I think the highway revamp in general, just not the move. Old highway is so much better, guys. All right, here's one. There's two. Can we get three? No way. We got a triple kill. I've made history. Excuse me. Okay. Might as well switch guns now. So we have Russia for the, the next loadout. For, so for this one, we're going to go with the Dragunov SVD, which is the SVDS with the full stock. And we got this sniper scope as well. Had to include a couple snipers. You know, why not? Hopefully I, I will be successful. I probably will not, but that's just the way it goes. Oh, this. I should have shot over there. That would have been a free collat. Bro, what is this guy doing way over there? Bruh, okay, hold on. Oh my, we got him with a body shot. No way. Quite unexpected, but I'll take it. Oh no. My aim, dude, today is not good. Not sure what they're doing. They're just strafing. They're not even, like, fighting back. They're just strafing. That, that, their defense is their offense. Oh, headshot. Apparently, this, this gun doesn't headshot, one-shot headshot at long range, which I'm kind of skeptical about, because, like, why would you use it? Oh, just saw that one spawn. Oh, they're not having good luck with their spawning today. This gun feels so inaccurate. I can't, I can't, I can't. We can't play with that anymore. All right, this next one is going to knock your socks off, okay? For Germany, we've got the G36 with a Z point. Here, let me put it on. Flashlight and then vertical grip. Probably the best loadout I've ever seen. So with the Z point, you actually keep the Henholst. Holst? I don't know how to say it, but yeah, you actually get two sights with the Z point if you put it on. So... We can do that. We can do that. We can do whatever we want. Like, it's a G36, man. It's a German assault rifle. What can't you do with one of these? 
Exactly, exactly. This site is absolute garbage, but I'm gonna use it because why not? That's just how we roll today. <laughs> Bro, what is this chat doing? They're trying to flood me with friend requests. Oh my. All right, so we're on mall and we've got the G36. Should be good to go. This site is actually like, it works. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it works. Yes, I do say that because we got one kill with it. Got one. Oh, there's one more. We can't, we can't get that guy. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, we actually got both. Okay. All right, Donnie Noobs killed me. I guess we're going to switch loadouts now. All right, so for France, we did the FAMAS last time, but you guys all said that they now use the HK416. So we're going to slap on this EOTech, slap on this vertical grip, and then slap on this green laser, and we should be good. Honestly, we we pretty much, with these setups, relied on um, looking at Google Images, among other things. <coughs> Wikipedia. <coughs> but yeah, so I don't know if they're going to be accurate, but we, we really tried. We really did try. And the the dude um Sam I am he knows a ton about guns apparently so yeah I'm trusting I'm trusting him if everything is wrong blame my guy Sam I am This thing is insane either it's insane or the other team is just having a mental breakdown Oh my triple kill That's a, that's the second quad kill of the life we're on an 8 kill streak How many times does that happen on the Rage Snowy channel Is this are these guys trying to assassinate me That's not very nice that's not what I signed up for. Can we get our can we get our third quad kill of the No, we can't, dude. I right, I guess once we die, we're gonna have to switch. I'm just doing too well with this. Alright, we got him. We got him. I'm sure that's the tactics they used when they're jumping off the buildings in, in Paris. I'm almost dead, so I'm gonna try to not okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna try to not die, but that didn't work. Anyways, next one we have Britain. So we have, uh, we did the L85A2 last time. Now we're gonna go with the AWM because this is a British sniper rifle, and we're gonna take off the uh, the skin. I don't think they use that, and we'll go with the PM2 as well. So yeah, we're gonna have much less luck with this than we just did with the HK because it's a sniper, and this is small. Fill in the blanks. Can I get one kill? There we go. It happened, guys. It happened. My best option is kind of just sit back over here, see if we can maybe get one or two kills. All right, there's one. We have died. Okay. I might only go one more life with this. Oh, dude, Richard is here. Richard is here to protect me. What a lad. Richard, where were you, bro? Okay. I'm going to have to switch. I can't. Like, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get one more kill. We'll get one more. There we go. There we go. Good enough. All right, so I've kind of raved about this gun in the past, but the North Koreans say it's good, so we're using it. The Type 88, Um, apparently this gun is used without any attachments, so that's how we're going to go. All right, there are people right above me. It, it really is just a fake AK. That's really all I can say about this. Holy, okay. Any fake AK is good enough, though. Just saw a man fall from a crane. All right, I take it back. This gun is not good at all. Oh my. It's got the worst recoil you can ever imagine. And it, it's like, it shoots really slow. The only upside to that is that you get time to recover from the horrible recoil. But that's about it. Okay, there's two of them up there. Okay, and we died. That was a teammate. You guys ever do that? You guys ever just shoot at your teammates? Just hoping, hoping you will get a kill for like some random instance of friendly fire. All right, one more life with this. So I think I'm going to consider it a success if I get at least two hit markers on someone. All right, we have successfully hit markered him three times. We almost killed him. Okay, that's a success in my book. Let's go to the next weapon family. I mean, uh, not weapon family. What am I saying? So we're going to go from North Korea down south a little bit to South Korea. The K2. The K2 with no attachments just got added to the main game. It's South Korean. Really good gun. I, I Like I said in the last video, I think it works way better with attachments. So I'm going to struggle. A12, gotcha. It's actually... It's actually decent without attachments, but it's hard to see the iron sights are kind of bad. Recall is still like, oh my god. Okay, it's actually not bad. Like, I can't, I can't make up my mind. It's pretty decent. Okay, I changed my mind. It's not horrible with no attachments. It's definitely not horrible. I'm just, I'm just horrible with it, you know? Okay, we hit marker that guy with the gun and the, and the melee, and he's 55 health. We need some redemption. All right, I think someone picked up my gun. Either that or they're just using it themselves, which would make sense because a lot of people are using the new guns. And by the way, I'm actually really considering making a video on the three new um, Korean assault rifle, not not Korean assault rifles, the three new automatic guns. And then maybe, maybe another video on the K14. Just let me know if you want to see that. Got him. 
Oh, no. No, how? Okay. All right, we're good with the K2. I think that was... That was a good run. Somehow at 40 kills, which is not bad. So now we're going to go to Belgium, okay? Representing Belgium, we have the Scar L. All right, so for the Scar L, we got a TA-11 ACOG, a folding grip, and a flashlight. This should be interesting, okay? Scar L's very, very good. I really like this gun. Hoping to do well with it. Oh, there there he is. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't find him for the longest time. Like, you don't, you just don't remember that, oh, yeah, you can now go on the crane on, on Mall. Like, it's just something that requires, like, two or three second thoughts. All right, so we are on the crane now, taking control. Bro, the Scar L is so good. Such a nice gun, man. Such a nice gun. Ho ho. Oh no, I fell. Bro. All right, one more life. One more life. Let's see if we can actually get more than a couple kills. Or get at least a couple kills. I mean, I'd probably be happy with that. All right, so we're on our second kill. What do we have here? Another guy. All right, cool. All right, so we, we got three that life. Good enough for me, I guess. So for Israel, we have the TAR-21, and we've got an EOTech uh, vertical grip and, and a green laser. All right, let's put that on now. And uh, all right, we got nine seconds. What can we do? What can we do in nine seconds? All right, we didn't do anything in nine seconds, but all right, we got the loadout for next game. All right, let's go. I'm so glad this server filled up. Like I tried recording this like no joke, like a hundred times. And every time I recorded, the server would just die immediately. Nice, dude, this gun is insane. I can already tell. I just used it once. It sounds so powerful. Like just listen to, listen to that. Listen to that. Holy, okay. It's a little bit hard to control though. Not gonna lie. Oh, dude, this server is so chaotic. At least it's active, though, like I was saying. Like, I'd rather have a chaotic server where everyone's better, but it's active, than just an inactive dead lobby, you know? This gun has a lot of recoil, I'm just noticing. All right, one more life, and then we should be good. Why are you over here, buddy? Come on. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, we got to switch now. All right, so for Norway, surprisingly, they use the comp aim point, the folded grip, and the retract stock. I mean, or so they say, <laughs> you know? I'm not sure about this one, but... I mean, this this was the information given to me. Oh god, okay. I shouldn't be panicking in close range because that's literally what it's for. These people need to be eliminated from the game completely, entirely. Not so smart using an MP7 on Desert Storm with retract stock. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, we gotta do it for the Belgians. I'm pretty sure this is probably not their primary loadout, but this is all we could get, I think. Either that or I think they also use HK416, which is also used by France, which we already did, so... Didn't want to reuse the same one. Oh, we got him. Just barely. How? Wait, can this go through walls? Okay. That's a little bit more interesting. It can. It actually can. Look at that. The SMG with the wall bang. That's not really common knowledge, but okay. All right. Anyway, since we only have two more guns, we should probably switch right about now. So next gun belongs actually to South Africa with the FAL 50. No attachments. I don't have a lot of kills on this. So, I mean, going to see how it goes. Holy, okay, I didn't see that guy coming. All these, I've literally used like only close range guns the entire, the entire time. I can't get long range kills with this. What are you saying? Really? Okay. No, dude, my kill got stolen. All right, to be fair, he, he was getting shot at way before I even started shooting. So if I got the kill, I probably would have been stealing that guy's kill. But I mean, oh, we actually got a kill from like a decent amount of range. And we almost got that guy. All right, all right. One more life, maybe one more kill even. Video is turning out to be very long. Oh, the game ended. All right, I guess I'll I guess I'll go to the last one. And so for the last gun, guys, we have representing Finland. We have the TRG with the PM2 on it. I don't know why we're using this PM2. Couldn't really find the exact scope they use, so I guess we're going with the PM2. Oh, that could have been like a triple. Do you guys think they trick shot in Finland? Okay, this is this kind of hard to use on a map like this. The TRG is. Wow, that was a good grenade. The TRG is kind of one of the better closer range uh, snipers anyways. So I got no excuse, I guess. That's, I guess that's what I'm saying. We're in a lobby full of like really good people though. Oh, that was a good quick scope, I guess. This gun without straight pull doesn't work. It's too slow. It is so slow. Oh, finally. All right, so yeah, I'm just, I guess since we got a couple kills with it at least, um, I'm just gonna end the video here. But yeah, I do really hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, this was insanely fun to make. So really appreciate it if you guys might give it a like or something. But yeah, anyways, that's been it. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.